back to Mulberry Zoo. We are currently here waiting for the giraffe talk to start. And then we will talk. And then I'll show the what we've been working on. So we got a baby giraffe in here now too. So that's nice. I sped up time and the giraffe talk's gonna start about now. So this is like why it's the giraffe feeding area here, because this is how they feed giraffes. Um, if I turn around, you can see what's what happened. There's no speed build today, since I lost half of the footage. Hey. Oh, that's loud. I think he can throw food. Yeah. I, I don't speak this lang language, so I don't know. I think he was talking about lions eating giraffes there or something. Oh wait, this one's actually- it's using it! Yay! I'm glad about that. That'd be cool if you're just standing there and a giraffe comes running past. Oh, it threw. <laughs> That's how. They, I don't think I've ever actually seen them throw the food before. That's funny. I like that. But none of the giraffes want it, maybe because it's on the ground. But we'll go over into it. We have the savannah which has African buffaloes, zebras, um, gemsbach, and ostriches. It used to have a, a bunch more, which are all here, but that was too many, so they're all gone. I'm gonna get another gemsbach, though. I think these are gemsbach. I'm gonna check real quick. Yes. So... I think I just have two females, so I'm gonna get a male and a female. And send them in. And I'm not sure if they're set to... Oh wait, I already had a male and two females. Well, I'll just get rid of this one. get rid of it, but, um, so this is the thing, they can be viewed from both sides, and they're blocked in by a moat, and these fences, it's a kind of weirdly shaped thing, because it goes, like, around that, the gate's over here, and I used mostly foliage from the new pack, but there's some other stuff as well. And I also made the gondola ride, which is here. The end, the, oh. There's some stuff going on to the path, so... I'll fix, I fixed a bit, so that's good. And then there's like a big baobab tree, I think that's how, it's, it's similar to how you pronounce it at least. And then you've got the big thing, I did that since I was lazy, and I built a rock wall around it. Just because they don't want you, so they wouldn't want, the zoo wouldn't want you to see the whole thing from there. Um, I would like, the seats aren't that good. Is there like, interest? Let's see, is there like a bumper mode? No. I'm get, I'm just, we'll just watch it in orbit maybe enter what's this this is just on there then orbit would be the best okay then one's the best it seems wait no eight's the best yeah so we'll use eight there's only one car, so we'll speed up time a bit until it goes off. 
but I like the theme of it and I used the plaster theme and I or the North Africa mostly I like this and this and everything here I used both African themes actually that's why there's the thatch roof but I like the coloring and how it's the same colors on there as it is here um, on this monorail you see you go over the savanna a bit but then you're also going to go over the lions and fennec fox and meerkats which will be over here so that's two episodes maybe next episode um, I'm not entirely sure but probably next episode since I haven't played with meerkats or fennec foxes at all yet but then you also pass the cheetahs and across the path there will be African wild dogs which I'll explain why they get a lot of space more in the episode where I do them um, you might be able to see elephants since they're big and maybe pygmy hippos or rhinos but that's less likely you can see over there but you can't see animals so yeah and it just goes in this straight little loop thing here um, I was originally planning on having it go from near the drafts across to over there to another station and then it comes back but then I switched to just doing this which I like more so yeah we'll speed it up a bit since it's slow and I don't really have much to talk about but yeah I like the coloring of it because it's um I like how I, it's mostly dull and then the blue stuff pops out of it more so I like that there's a bunch of bird sounds so that's neat and then we'll slow it down as we're getting back to the station and you can see a Gemsbach there. I think you can see my mouse if you can't, then um, that's too bad. But then there's a cheetah, there's ostriches. And then, yeah. We, you can see a bunch of other guests and you, it's mostly just to see this area of the zoo from high. So you can like really see what's happening around like the layout. So yeah. And we're coming in over the elephant grass area. Which I think even though it, it's like boring and there's nothing, I think it still looks pretty good. So I like it. And I still have no mods installed. So that's that. Yeah. Um, also, I probably will stop using new scenery mods until until when um, until Planet Zoo stops getting new updates, or they or or modders find a way to make it so they don't break after each update. So it's driving over into this section. And that will be the end of the video. Have a good one. Um, like and subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the video. Um, I've been putting out lots of videos lately. And I don't know, just because I've gotten really into Planet Zoo right now. And I have more different games planned for soon. Or not a lot of them, just like one or two. But... Thanks for watching, see you soon, have a good day.